The time has come. I'm off to Sony Camera Camp. Let's go. I haven't done a personal flying trip here in a minute. I definitely know this airport by heart at this point, but had to hit Starbucks first, of course. Got the Venti Sweet Cream Vanilla Cold Brew. Order egg white bites and a ham and cheese croissant. This is the airport stack. I got 15 minutes till I board. I gotta go to the other side of the airport. We're gonna eat this on the plane. Let's go. Mike. Hey, Johnny. Let's go. All right, so have officially made it. Um, this is the place, the resort, the hotel, whatever they want to call it. Um, it's a little sunnier than Chicago. So you have a little bit of free time until two o'clock. In the meantime, you can go to the activity hunt, rent a bike or whatever you want to do. You're going to have um, camera camp check-in at two o'clock in the Bay Bayview. So Bay you'll get a map. Jayhawk, J-H-A-W-K. All right, first stop, drink with the fellas. Cheers. Matthew, good to meet you, man. <laughs> Alright, just got our bag. All of our welcome stuff in here. Alright, so I have made it to my room here. Now, I've stayed at a lot of different hotels over the years. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour of this, and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so you walk in the front door right here. Obviously, we got our little couch area, table right there. I might sit here and edit some stuff later, which is nice. Obviously, large king-size bed, TV over here, and then last but not least. Okay, so bathroom, closet, actual bathroom, shower. So, okay, so honestly, not bad. You know, the beachy vibes, I kind of dig it. Um, but I don't think I'm actually gonna be spending that much time here in the actual hotel room anyways, but I'm into it. Okay, so we got a nice little welcome gift from the Sony fam. So let's see what we got. Obviously got a nice little bag here. I'm gonna assume this is a camera bag. It's from a company called Juan DRD, Wandered. Pretty cool. Little camo action. Let's see if there's anything inside. Hang on, you guys are crooked. First up, got a nice little camera camp. What is this, hoodie, jacket, whatever it is. Little Sony camera camp. All right, I'm feeling it. Gotta be able to rock the Sony camera camp. Let's open up like the main part. I don't know if you guys can see this. Little camera camp tag. All right, we got a little Sony hat. Camera camp, was this a blanket? Well. Camera camp blanket here. Okay. Little EDC tech pouch. Shout out to iJustine with the pink cables. That's super cool. That's an awesome clap. Ooh, okay. Little Sony earbuds. These are the Link Buds. Very nice of them. Little stainless steel tumbler and a couple little vouchers for food and drinks. Honestly, huge shout out to iJustine, Jenna, Sony for putting this event on. It's cool enough that Sony flew us out here and put us up in this place, let alone give us a bunch of gifts and things too. So pretty awesome experience so far. And actually this is one of the reasons why I decided to switch to Sony years back because they do so many awesome things for their creators. So super thankful to be here. We'll talk about that more in another video, but I got a couple more things to unbox here. So I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Honestly, there has been so much going on the last couple weeks with work and everything. Um, I haven't had as much time as I would have liked to think about this. So yesterday I was going through packing my camera bag, figuring out what I need to bring here, and I kind of realized that maybe I want something else. So uh, luckily Amazon has one day shipping. So I shipped this to my hotel. I obviously use these for work all the time. I just don't personally own one. This seems like a perfect excuse. So I just picked up the DJI RS3 watch. Now that I have it here, I probably won't even need it. But if I didn't have one here, I would have wished I had one. That's always how it works. Now this package, if you know me, you might know what this is. I mean, it's only right. I gotta hook up my friends while I'm here, you know? So that is the aftermath after unboxing all those things. So right now, um, it's three o'clock. 
Got a little bit of time before uh, we have like our dinner, I think in a couple hours. So probably gonna relax a bit, unpack a few things, get a couple batteries charging, and then go see what people are doing. Okay, so real quick, because I know actually some of you guys are probably wondering. First up, the least special, some Panda Dunks. Listen, they go with everything. Maybe if I wanna get a workout in, maybe if it starts raining, I don't wanna wear something super nice or expensive. Pandas, Jordan 1 High Taxis, little Travi reverse mochas, can't go wrong. And then these right here, probably saw earlier. Jordan one high lost and found Chicago's a personal favorite of mine and also come on I'm flying in from Chicago you got to represent a little bit So we just got done with a little presentation showing off this brand new camera that Sony is releasing. This is like the first sneak peek. Let me go somewhere a little quieter, hang on. This is the Sony ZV-E1. So it has the same sensor as the Sony A7S III, but it's this tiny little body. They gave me a white one, comes in white and black. So I'm probably gonna be testing out some over the next couple days. So far, looks pretty cool. So with this camera, it's actually better because the rolling shutter performance is so good. So typically with like electronic shutters. But this one, I just get the sensor for the processing. Whoa, whoa. All right, so I've decided this is going to be the vertical setup for the next couple days to test this thing out. Shout out to Lowe for this setup idea. So I got the Sony ZV-E1 with the 14 mil on this. And I'm gonna use this to film my day in the life of each day here. So we're gonna try this thing out and see what it's all about. Yeah. I think that mode is really cool. I don't know, the guys say it look pretty dope, so. We just wrapped up lunch. We're testing we out the new camera. Everyone's just trying out these new features. We're doing like one of these AI tracking things and it's just crazy what these cameras can do now. So thank oh, you. Sorry, I was <laughs> we literally have the engineers. Literally the engineers showing us how to use these cameras. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, but, so you can be playing not, this. Not, not recording this. Okay. Does everyone want this to be filmed or not? Like yeah, just quick hit videos. We're talking half second clips at a time. It makes it easier to be more consistent and get more content out. And then as well as it just fits into everything else. Uh, yeah, Instagram Reels is a beast, but somehow I kind of got it figured out right now. So, <laughs> uh, but um, it's called Replay. My manager, I was doing work just like everybody else. A lot of people. All right, so just stopped back in my room real quick. We actually just had a workshop that was talking about like things that are and aren't working in the industry right now. And it had a lot to do with different platforms, what's working on YouTube, what's not working on YouTube. People were discussing about working with agents and if it's worthwhile and what things to look out for. And there's actually a lot of discussion about short form videos. And it's kind of funny because in my head, I don't really always think myself as short form vertical content first. I always think long form, but a lot of people here know me by my short form content. And I guess is the most successful content I make. So I actually chimed in a good amount with my input and things that I do and things, I guess that just relate to my strategy, especially with Instagram Reels. Shout out to my guy, Terry Warfield for putting me on the spot for the very first question. But it was really cool just to have a big open discussion with like 40 plus other creators. Everything that other people are seeing working, things that people are struggling with, some things to look out for, just across the board. I think it was supposed to be an hour discussion and it ended up being like two or two and a half. And something I'm kind of struggling with during this trip is I had the idea that I wanted to film a YouTube video in the entirety, but I also want to do some short form videos too. And it's honestly just tricky to do both at the same time. But now that we're testing out this brand new camera, the ZV-E1, this thing is really small. I like the built-in mic. Honestly, I don't even know all the features off the top of my head. You guys can clearly look it up better than I can explain right now. But first impressions, it's really cool. I don't really know if it's something that I would add to my kit right now. It definitely isn't better than the FX3, but if I needed a second body or if you're in the market for a new camera, this is at a lower price point. So now I'm filming obviously the YouTube video here on the, my FX3 three and then I'm using the Sony ZV-E1 with the 14 mil to film my vertical content this week as well. So I kind of just look insane walking around with two cameras, but you know, it's fine. 
it's such a unique situation to be surrounded by so many other cool creators. And we were literally sitting there at lunch talking with some of the engineers for Sony that literally flew here from Tokyo. And I was giving them my feedback on what I want different in future cameras. That sense is crazy. So yeah, I'm just super grateful to be here. I'm kind of tired because I woke up early to knock out my first day one reel, which actually is doing great. And I think it would turn out cool. But now I got to do that two more times. But you know what? I love doing it. But I'm for sure going to need a little help with a little caffeine. All right, so it's bright AF right now. It was raining earlier, but actually now it's, I mean, beautiful. Look at this. I'm like on this dock right now and it is gorgeous outside. But anyways, I'm down here shooting a couple little quick things, photos and videos of the brand new camera, but it looks good down here. So it's pretty dope. I'm not even gonna lie. And I love this 14 mil. That's actually incredible. You might be able to record it that way if you want to. Something we can use then. I think it's totally fine. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow while it's raining in the morning, I'm yeah. gonna record all the menu options. So okay. I can 4K. See. Watch, watch the back like of the... Vertical, yes. Like vertical, like be far phone away phone and phone. doesn't matter. Phone, oh, right. Phone, Cause you're gonna still have at least a 1080p you know, image. Now I almost want this for myself when I'm vlogging because then it looks, and then you, you could throw it in Resolve and add the camera shake effect to it. And then it looks like you got a damn camera guy. This back here, that's basically where the entire camp is. We have like all these meeting rooms where we've had the different workshops, dinner, lunch, breakfast. And it's kind of just crazy because every single person here is so damn talented, at least in their own way. And I'm super humble and grateful to just be with this group of people. And you know, I feel like I've accomplished a lot of things and I have some achievements in my professional life. But when it comes to my personal content, my YouTube channel, my other platforms like Instagram, TikTok, whatever, right? This is by far the biggest milestone for any of that stuff that I have done yet. And there's that airplane said, hell nah. It's only day two and I already don't want tomorrow to happen because it's the last day. But just all the connections and finally meeting people in person that I've been connected with online, you know, for years now is just crazy. And I'm sure this will be a pivotal moment for me in some way or another. And um, your guys' support on everything, honestly, has made this happen. So I appreciate you guys for real. I'm gonna head back inside, probably hang out with some people. It's like seven o'clock now, filming B-roll as I'm recording that. Um, and probably gonna have a couple cocktails, a couple drinks, have a good time. All of the quality the capabilities of that camera. Yeah. yeah. So that on its own is already, you know, becoming really, really interesting to me. I think it's gonna be a good one. I was, th I was saying this could be the new A7 III. The other day I had a beer, it was pretty good. Uh, it was an IPA actually uh, from Sierra Nevada. Good stuff. It was the other day, not today? Yeah. It wasn't just now. Maybe just now, actually. How many beers have you had? So the only problem with this 14 mil is that I can't put an ND filter on it, so I cranked my shutter. So I don't know how this looks, your but shutter. oh, you. I'm so sorry. I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> on my clip. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were explaining it to me. It's a casual vlog, all right? Shoot 8K, 60 frames. They're adding okay. 120 frames shortly. They've added a, a lot of AI-driven features. All right, awesome. Well, I appreciate it. Nice no, to meet you guys. Yeah. 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 Have a good one. Yeah, yeah, let's shoot. All right, little in and out with the fellas. Couldn't miss it. Phenomenal. Gotta have it. Had to. All right, so right now we're just kind of walking around, getting some shots, trying out that new Sony camera. Really using that 14 millimeter and just getting a bunch of different shots. But it's just cool because anywhere you walk right now in this camp, like around this area, there's just different creators doing stuff different places. Like. I just, I just literally just heard a drone fly by. Maddie's over here shooting some of his stuff for his content. This guys down there creating. It's just dope. There's just so many people around creating stuff right now. It's sick. Yeah, like you could, you could catch it on the way down. Yeah. Same battery. I saw the what same the battery. Yeah. What the heck? How long do the battery last? Generally. <laughs> No, it, it'll fall. It's just gonna fall into the water. Oh, wow. 
so I just gotta make sure I... What is it? That's pretty smart, right? Yeah. All right. Do anything. Just listen. <laughs> so this right here has been my little hotel room for the last few days and honestly i'm gonna miss it I'm starting to feel like home you know what i mean last morning here before i leave for the airport got to return that new camera the zve1 i actually really love it um, I don't know off the top of my head when it drops, but it's sometime soon in the coming months. But it's actually a pretty sick camera for a lot of creators. So, without a doubt, I think the last few days here has been by far one of the coolest, most fulfilling, exciting, helpful, motivating, inspiring, everything you can think of experience of my entire life. The things I learned, the people I met, it's hard to even sum up. So if you can take anything from this video and kind of to round us out here and finish it up, you know, being a creator can be a very lonely thing sometimes. We spend a lot of hours by ourselves either creating, editing, filming, whatever type of art you do. A lot of times we always question exactly why we're doing it or if all this work is worth it, right? But this is a true example that you never know who is watching your content or who your content could kind of get in front of. And you never know what kind of opportunities that could lead to, what kind of doors that could open, what type of connections, friendships, life-changing moments that could present you. And honestly, this trip would not be possible without your guys' support. So truly means the world to me. This is one of the biggest milestones and coolest things I've ever done. I just wanna thank you guys. So. This is your guys' proof. Just go out there and start creating. Do it for yourself and it'll pay off. I love you guys. Peace. Uh oh, not bad enough. So turn the camera on and then we'll. <laughs> Later, bro.